Right. This app it has an habit of cutting itself off on some sites, you know, this record app. It's a slight pain in the ass. I think if I get a voucher though, I can buy the app and I can probably record even like the sound on videos and that maybe, I'm not sure. Uh, it's this trying to play that's going to cut me off again, I think. Right, Ebola. So we're not stupid. We know what they want. They want to inject us with some crap, don't they? See? Knock a few years off your life. Well, it's the federal government frantically works out how to combat Ebola. Well, you isolate it, don't you? You, you don't have to frantically work at isolating a, a disease like this. It wouldn't be a problem, would it? So it this is how you know it's lies. Uh, oh, I'd done a, a video last night and my mum were on the phone and I'd recorded it brilliantly and she'd, done a, she'd really come out with some good stuff. You know, she's not stupid. And uh, I deleted it on her. And the only way I could retrieve it is if I had a computer. I don't think I can do it on my PS3, so... Because it's pretty mean, them PS3s, you know, but... You know, you could, if you're good on them, I suppose you could do quite a lot on a PS3 if you knew what you were doing, but I only used it for playing on, really, and pissing about with watching the other DV, you know, vid on it or whatever. Um, working on the Ebola vaccine since 2000, and well, it's not one, it's not like we st suddenly woke up and thought, oh my gosh, we should have something ready here. Collings told the Huffington Post, frankly, if we had not gone through our 10-year slide in research support, we probably would have had a vaccine in time for this. Oh my God! We would have done it, but we didn't do it! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't worry, we'll make one up quick in the lab. Come stick it in you and your children. Then you can feel safe. It'll be great. Fuck off. Fucking scum fox. Who's behind all these vaccines? Go and do go and look into that as well, people. Go and look into that. Go and look at who they are and what they are. Say. Scam. Uh would have been ideal for all, all that would have happened if we had been on a stable research support trajectory. We would have been a year or two ahead of where we are now. Which would have made all the difference, he said. Get a, someone find this man and take him in the backyard and line him up against the wall. Speaking from the NIH headquarters, the, Beth the Bethes Bethesda, Maryland. The typically upbeat Collins was sombre when discussing efforts to control the Ebola epidemic. His days are now spent almost exclusively on the fake disease. But even after months of painstaking work, a breakthrough doesn't seem to be on the immediate horizon. Money, or rather, the lack of it. You what? There's no lack of money for you cunts. There's a lack of money for us poor cunts. Not for you poor cunts. Not for you cunts. And you snap your fingers. Again proving that it's bogus. Uh, what's this? Money, or rather the lack of it, is a big part of the problem. NIH's purchasing power is down 23% from what it was a decade ago, and its budget has remained almost static in fiscal year 2004. How much money does it really cost for a bunch of clever companies to make a vaccine? What, what, why would it cost so much money when it's all bullshit? Let's face it. Say you did have a real... Ebola thing. Say it was real, right? Yeah. Say it was. You know, you... They would have closed it down. There would have been ways of closing it down. But you can see it's pretend because these things have now failed, apparently. Right? It's a big failure now. Right? 
Now it's about to spread all over the world. Terrorists are going to be using it. It's going to be really bad, man. Really, really bad, man. <laughs> uh, what a load of shite. Hey, they couldn't do it because they only had a... What is this? They only had 28 billion. <laughs> How much do you reckon you can make a vaccine for a disease on 28 billion? Don't think it's really enough, Charlie. Suck my balls. Suck my short and curlies, you cheeky bastards. 29, 31 billion, barely a change, even before adjusting for inflation. The situation is even more pronounced at the National Institute of Allergy and Infections. We don't need you. You're just another way of getting the money from the people. That's all it is. Scum. You know, it's like these charities, you know, that come on, <laughs> they hit you from all angles, don't they? And they want you to donate to Ebola now, don't they? Come on, people, wake up. The growing severity of the Ebola crisis in West Africa and the fear of an outbreak in America haven't loosened the purse strings. You know, the fear of an outbreak in America, it's been out for 10 months. It's been out since the 70s, hasn't it? You know what I mean? Uh, come on. Colin said he'd like Congress to press an emergency. Emergency. Supplemental appreciation to help with the work, but he added, nobody seems enthusiastic about it. He got some cunt here wanting billions of pounds for a fake virus, right, that could be easily just contained, you know, if it had been managed right, in the pretend world of its, how it's been mismanaged in the pretend world, see. And now he's screaming for billions of pounds, and people like that... He's a chancer. Piss him off. These people that are getting access to money like this, they're the problem, people. They're the problem. You know, if it was a genuine thing, your best defence would be to put loads of good food over there for the people so they could, you know, get a bit stronger for when it came. Because half of them are dead already, aren't they? If you know what I mean. Right? So, you could probably just put a quite a violent strain of flu out in Africa and do a hell of a lot of damage. Which is probably what they've done. And then the blood tests go back to this WHO, don't they? And it doesn't matter what they died of. Tell them it was Ebola. <laughs> Satan, Satan, Satan. Come on, am I right? I'm fucking right, aren't I? This is a scam. What's this? 46.2 billion. You know what I mean? Can... What couldn't you do? Right. With these billions of pounds that we're talking about. That you couldn't. Why would you. You know. Why would you need that vast amount of money. People. To get. A few bleeding scientists. And the laboratory. A few test tubes, a few microscopes, etc, etc. Right? Why would it need billions and billions and billions of pounds? Because it's bullshit. Huh? It's like these cancer cures, you know. Give money to cancer and then we'll take that money off you. Then we'll develop medicines and then you won't get them when you get cancer because you won't be able to afford them. Because then we'll sell them, you know, like, this is what's happening right now, isn't it? You see. So, and probably white rabbits at that. It's like, these drugs come on tell you, and they say, oh, this woman, she could have this cancer treatment. It might give her six months on her life. But it's, and it'd be like, I don't know, like, £20,000 for an handful of these tablets. I mean, what, the bleeding hell's in them, like? And... You've probably donated in a charity box that helped that company develop that drug and that woman doesn't get it. 
this is a scam. In fact, I'm starting to believe that medicine in general is looking like a big fucking scam. It's looking like another hoax. You know what I mean? I mean, they did a good job on her ankle. I'll give them that. But, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong. But, really? Is it really true, all this? You know. There's one walking down the road there. Oh, God. He's probably got Ebola. Some baggard. Um, I don't know what to say. It's just all bullshit, isn't it? Absolute bullshit. You turn your telly on if Ebola were real. And all your little programmes that you watch. Where the people go on live every day. None of them would be on. Because they've got the money and they wouldn't want to be out there taking the risk that there's a possibility that there's a virus that could wipe them out in one go. Simple. Collins was more bullish about the uh, prospects of developing a therapy as opposed to a vaccine because it would be possible to contact a test trial among people already in treatment units rather than among the uninfected. That made me laugh on that picture that I'd done where... Uh, I'll try and put it on. I'm sick of going back and editing, but... Where there's a four of them lying down like. They'd all have to be in isolation units, wouldn't they? From each other. Firstly. In case one did have Ebola and one didn't have Ebola. You wouldn't put them just on beds next to each other, would you? Would you? No, you wouldn't. Thus proving again it's bullshit. I think them tents are bleeding death camps. If you're in Africa and you listen to my video... Don't go in one of them tents. Because I reckon there's only dead bodies coming out the other side of that. Hmm. It's not looking good, is it? This looks like the annihilation of the bleeding Africans, doesn't it, this? If you really want to go into it. And where's all their videos coming out of Africa? And all their blogs and YouTube videos and all that? Where are they? Where's the photographs? I want to know where they are. They're not fucking there. Why? Wonder why. You've got to ask yourself why. You see. Everything that's coming out on this, it's all slickly done, isn't it? If you know what I mean. Uh, I don't know. Uh, stinks of bullshit to me, anyway. I'll put them up so it's got something to look at. Right, have a recording. Right, we'll be one.